The Anthem cockpit is a complete game changer for aerospace. First of all, it's modular. So that means building block approach. It can be used on any type of aircraft, urban air mobility, a helicopter, all the way up to an air transport aircraft. And because it's modular, it gives the same pilot experience for, through all those different aircraft. That's a big part of the success. Where you already have great tentacles in the avionics and in the APUs and the wheels and the brakes that you were telling me about. Uh, why this? Why have you done this? Well, a couple of things. First of all, the cockpit is the heart of the aircraft. Right. It's absolutely this. It's the, it's the pilot interface. But what does this give them? So what this gives them is connectivity, first of all. Connectivity, it's always connected. So the pilots can upload their flight plans ahead of time. Airlines can download information from the aircraft when it lands. It's always connected. That takes a lot of time out of preparing the airplane and turning the airplane around when it lands. Second, it's got a completely intuitive user interface, very much like an iPad or a tablet or an iPhone, smartphone. Uh, it, it operates in a very similar fashion. You can expand the screens, slide the screens, change, have what you want on the screen. All of this aimed at having a simpler, safer pilot experience. Makes it easier to fly the plane. Right, but we've also learned in recent years of the difficulties with information overload or what one might describe as the startle effect. And if there's one thing that has become clear is that the glass cockpit has huge benefits but does require tremendous concentration. Well, it's actually a big part of our focus with this cockpit, was to be able to provide to the pilot what they need to see and only what they need to see when they need to see it. Through the different phases of flight, based on the type of aircraft it's in, and also based on the situation that the aircraft is in. It doesn't overload them. It has a ton of power behind the scenes, but it's, you're able to see just what you want to see when you need to see it and not what you don't need to see, minimizing the distractions. It's a very important point to enable pilots to fly these more complex modern aircraft. If we talk now about, uh, more generally about aviation, the sustainability, IATA has just passed net zero 2050. Everybody in Boston accepted an element of responsibility and then promptly tried to pass the buck to somebody else. <laughs> Everybody said, we've got to do our bit, but actually, Willie Wall said, I demand from fuel we have better tools. I demand from OEMs. I demand from um, uh, manufacturers. So what's your responsibility to help the industry get to 2050 net zero? Well, it's, it's everything we do, really, is aimed at efficiency, productivity, safety. Efficiency, a big part of that is fuel. This cockpit will enable the pilot to operate the plane more efficiently, not only pre-flight and post-flight, but also to get to their destination more efficiently. You think about a one-hour flight, if you can take two or three or four minutes off that flight by navigating the aircraft more precisely, it's 3% savings, 4% savings, 5% savings. It's significant. It also enables the pilots to spend less time training, more time flying. That's a big part of what the airline's cost structure is too with, with the pilot community. And by saving airlines money, they can put that money back into things that make the aircraft more efficient. Can I fly it? Absolutely, we're gonna let you take a spin here and I think you're gonna find that it really is very intuitive. If you can run a smartphone, you can fly an airplane with our cockpit. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Let's have a go. All right, sir, show me how we fly. Okay, so airmanship and simple interfaces. So um, what you're talking about, a lot of times we, we have pilots who are actually good airmen, but they get distracted. So we're constantly working on minimizing the distractions. I think, I think one of the important points that you mentioned, Richard, is when, when things get hectic and you're in a challenging environment, that's the time to simplify the information, yes. not rely on all that detail that you learned when you were going to flight school. I, Whoa, I just, fast, back, fast just lost their champagne. I, just, I lost my champagne I was going to say. <laughs> Where's the airport? <laughs> Which is, it's uh, straight ahead there. About uh, 12 o'clock. Stop about uh, with maybe 2,000 feet remaining, something like that. You're down. Yeah, yeah. Back up again. Excellent. <laughs> Wait, I'm supposed to get off in Cleveland. Right, we <laughs> there we go. Oh, and that's look at that. Look what you've done now. You're going to be checked out in this thing in another 15 minutes, Richard. You're going to be a qualified pilot. 
you very much, sir. Not a problem. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay.